I want to go through now how we can develop a new view of reality and understanding just that it might be different than what you think. We all learned in school that atoms exist, right? That when you look at a chair or you look at different things, like at the core of it, it's all atoms. Like when you look at this Expo marker, for example, really that Expo marker looks like an Expo marker, right? It's green, it's got Expo on it, you know, it can write well. And through the eye of a human, you know, it looks like an Expo marker. But if you looked at it through the eye of a cat, it really would not look the same. And if you looked at it through, you know, a microscope, definitely it would not look the same. And if you looked at it through the eye of an ant, not gonna look the same at all. And if you looked at it on the electromagnetic spectrum, it's not gonna look the same at all either. It really is all just particles and waves. Everything is just particles and waves. Every single thing you look at. Why is it that some particles, some accumulation of particles are easier to get and some accumulation of particles are harder to get? But what if you could switch that? What if bacon, which, you know, I mean, how many of us should really be eating a lot of bacon, right? What if that was kind of hard for you to get your hands on? That was hard for you to really dig into, to sink your teeth into, but getting money was actually relatively easy. So how can we kind of reprogram the way we see the game to create cheat codes while other people are sort of stuck playing by the normal rules? All of these things are reasons why people don't succeed. And if you see, there's kind of a common denominator on here and it's I, it's the identity, it's the ego. It's really honestly the way that you've defined your character in this game. And for people that are saying these things, what they really have is an identity crisis. They think the world is the way they see it, that it's hard and that it can't change and that they are real and that they can't change. And so this identity crisis, this way that they define themselves, this way that they define their limitations keeps them stuck and broken. Look, the first thing we need to do is develop a new view of reality. This is something that we can kind of all get on the same page about and understand that at the core of it, there is something else going on at the base of what we kind of experience in reality. You know, the reason why you feel like you can go into virtual reality and succeed is because it's like a game and you can go into the game and you can do anything. But the reality of it is you can do that here. It is just a game. It is just particles and waves. It is completely the same. We have to be careful not to be too certain, think that life is too hard, think that, think that life is too difficult. Otherwise, I think you'll trick yourself into just literally making life much harder for yourself than it needs to be. But it's an interesting thing to think about. I think our experience of the world leaves many unanswered questions. And I definitely think there's more that we don't know than what we know for sure. And that is definitely true about you, your beliefs about what you're capable of in business. And I've proven this just time and time again, people coming into the program and showing them. And you'll see these people post in the Facebook group every single day, every single week about, wow, I never thought I was capable of doing this. I didn't think I could do it. All of these things are attainable. Other people have done it. They just learned better cheat codes. They just learned better sections of the game. And if you want to go on the journey to achieve any of these goals, I can promise you that you can, and you're actually probably capable of way more than you even think. If you want to achieve the goals that you set, not only do you have to change the business, learn new tactics, learn new skills, you have to become a different person. You have to have a different view of your reality. You have to have a different view of your identity. You have, a, have to have a different view of what you're capable of and what you're possible of achieving. I don't tell myself that my business can't grow. I don't tell myself that I can't get clients. I don't tell myself that I can't increase prices. I don't tell myself that I can't get paid on the first call. I don't tell myself that I'm just an accountant. I'm not a good salesperson. It's very difficult for you to succeed if you go on thinking life is hard, short, and brutal.